Hi, welcome to Derek Does. Today, we're gonna do these. Hi, welcome back to Derek Does. If this is your first time visiting, Take a look around, I've got a ton of videos, all different stuff. If you've been a subscriber for a long time, I appreciate that. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe, like, comment, everything like that. And um, let's just get on with it. Today, I am going to be doing, uh, I went to my, I was thinking about what to do. And I thought, well, I've got a few old vintage jeans and kind of like my art guys. I don't have many old jeans, but I do have this pair that's kind of interesting. This is a old pair of Sears Roebuck western jeans and um i'll show you these jeans they have they're western you can tell they've got the the western type pockets uh they've got the uh sears roebuck or genuine roebuck sears roebuck uh tag here on the back which is kind of similar to like what wrangler uh it has a couple a lot of unique features uh like this is a, a double piece of uh, denim there it has this it's a zippered front snap front and so it's not a button it's a snap um, these aren't salvage um, not every old jean was salvage and i think it might just be the way that they cut this jean uh, so there's nothing i haven't found any salvage on it but there is a union tag on it inside the back pocket and i'll show you that it's kind of like the old lees and it's kind of a mix of everything like that uh, it's not uh, riveted on the back it's just a bar tack but it's bar tacked on the outside and riveted uh, in the front. So I thought uh, without further ado, I would show you kind of the features of this pair of vintage uh, Sears Roebuck jeans. Now I'm thinking that these jeans are probably from the late 50s, probably the early 60s. They were probably made during the whole Western era and that's why they made these Western jeans, particularly probably for people that were fans of Gunsmoke and Rawhide and that sort of thing. Uh, because obviously Sears would want to sell a jean that guys wanted to look Western. These aren't cowboy jeans in a way. You know, that's more of a Wrangler or a Lee, I think, more so. Uh, although Levi's advertised themselves as Western, you know, they, Levi jackets were, but I think the jeans themselves for the most cowboys would always wear either a Wrangler or a Lee. So, um, and of course, <clears throat> Roebuck too. So I'm going to show you these. I'm going to put them up uh, on the hanger and show you all the features of them. So here you can see the outline of the jeans. It's, it's a little wider in the thighs and it does taper down to the bottom there. Uh, as you can see, I'll show you here. These are the uh, Western pockets I was talking about, how it's almost like a scallop. Uh, and then it's actually denimed on both sides uh, so that if they were down, it wouldn't show the other side. It's, it's faced on both sides. It has a watch pocket uh, and you can see that the is riveted and the rivets do say, I don't know if you can see that or not, Roebuck. It has a Roebuck snap front and I'll show you that when I take it out. Um, just regular belt loops. Again, same thing on this side. Again, I didn't see any salvage anywhere hidden in this. The uh, zipper, Scavel, there. And then you can see it has even a bit of a twist. So the denim itself is kind of a lighter denim. Uh, although it's kind of thick, so I don't think it's a super light denim. Uh, it's just light colored denim. You can see that kind of the features of this jean and then as i'll flip it around you can see the back it has this similar i guess it's emulating the front uh, having the little flap so it is like that also although this isn't double lined uh, with the outside on that side and then here's this year's genuine roebuck tag it's like a plastic but it's sewn on it's a hard plastic you can see it's really thick and then it also has the union tag right there. When I get them down on the ground, I'll try to open that up for you. It has a nice feature here of like this, a doubled, um, I guess, you know, it really is a doubled belt loop with fabric on the inside and then has a nice little genuine Robux feature there, which is nice. It's just a nice little feature and it comes down. You can see there's not a lot of wear or wash 
on this pair of jeans. There's obviously some wash because the uh, union tag's just a little faded, um, but overall it's in really nice shape. But you can see it is more tapered. Uh, it's not really boot cut, I don't think, because it does taper down, uh, because if these were, it's kind of odd that they're not boot cut, they're not wider, but um, being a Western looking jean. Now I've tried to do some research on these and I haven't found that much at all. I've seen similar Roebuck jeans that have the uh, tag here, but they're not the Western, it's more of just the five pocket jean. So I don't think they probably sold a lot of this style. Obviously it's a unique style that maybe not a lot of people wanted to look like they're out of a Western, but uh, it is a neat piece of jean. It's almost like a piece of 1800s jean, the way they did this, you know, I don't know, it's just kind of, kind of interesting. So I did find this pair in the Sears catalog for 1957 in the spring summer catalog on page 498. Uh, and they call it the um, Roebuck Western style denims. Uh, and uh, interestingly, it's, it's a vat dyed jean, 13 and three quarter ounce coarse weave denim, specially finished to give more wear. Curved top Western style front pockets, a U-shaped crotch, snug tapered legs, and extra wide keystone belt loop in back. So I'm assuming they call that back middle one a keystone belt loop. Four bar tacks on each of the pockets, zip fly, Sanford eyes, fabric won't shrink over 1%. And these costs new $3.85. Now I'll take it down and I'll show you that on the inside and close up of the zipper and the union tag. But I think in this light, you can really see the denim, how it is color wise. It's not a dark denim, like, like this is a dark denim that I'm wearing. Um, these are the Connors, uh, and this is a much lighter, but still, I think it's just how they were. Uh, all right, so that's the button. And then again, they're zippered front. And you can see it's a Scovell zipper. It's a Roebuck, which is like a brass looking uh, style. They uh, finished that off kind of odd. They kind of like overlocked it. I've never really seen that on a pair of jeans where they just kind of overlock that part. Normally it's just a straight stitch down. So that's kind of a unique feature. And on the back, it's marked with a 61. Also the uh, belt, or the uh, waistband is actually doubled uh, sewn, chain stitched um, on both sides. So that was a either a machine that had four needles this way or they did it once and then they came back again and did it that way. Uh, I'm not sure. You can see the inside. Nothing is really labeled on the inside. There's no tag size or anything, or if there was, it's it's gone, or I haven't found it. I haven't found any stamping underneath, like the pocket bags or anything like that either. But you can see just how it's made. Now, again, I haven't seen any salvage on this. Uh, doesn't mean it didn't have it. Uh, originally before they cut it all out, but it, there's none here. And here you can see the union tag there. And they didn't even bother sewing it square. They just stuck it there and then finished it off when they, they put this piece on. So seems a little rushed, but that's just probably how they did the jeans then. I, I never looked in here for salvage, and there is there is none there inside there either. That's just leftover. So this is the uh, Sears and Roebuck. It's kind of kind of an interesting pair of jeans. A unique pair of jeans for sure. Something you don't see that much. Uh, I did notice they used a uh, yellow stitch here, gold stitch here, and. Um, Gold also for the bar tagging, but a, a bright yellow 
kind of like Levi used to do where they would mix up uh, everything. And of course, then a dark blue to match the jeans on the overlock on the finish up both sides of the um, waistband. So I thought I'd show you what they look like on. I put them on, they're a little big, as you can see. These are probably like a 34, 36 waist. I'm a 32, uh, but the legs fit. They're like a 34, which is like I normally wear, but you can kind of see, I'll do this just so you can kind of see what they look like on. Uh, it's not a bad looking jean. I mean, they're comfortable. They'd fit better if they weren't so loose on me, but um, they have those unique pockets, which actually are a little bit different to get used to because they they have these ears right here, um, but uh, they're not terrible. They're just big on me, that's all. But not too bad. You just have to wear it with a belt. So there you have this kind of cool pair of unusual, for sure, uh, Sears, Roebuck, Western jeans. Most likely, I'm assuming from the late 50s, early 60s. It's a pair, I just measured them uh, actually before uh, when I changed. And uh, they're at like around a 35, it's like a 17 and a half uh, distance. So it's like a 35 and about a 31 inseam on this particular pair. Of course, I would always go with the 34 just so I could roll them. But um, this is the pair, this particular pair. Uh, if you happen to have a pair of these or know more about them, I'd love to know about that. So please, in the comments below, please put down what you what you know about them or what you think about them too. Uh, they're kind of interesting. I don't know of anybody who reproduces these. I don't know if there's really a market for guys who would want this, but uh, there might be just because it's so unusual in a pair of jeans. I mean, it's still a five pocket jean, but it's an unusual five pocket jean that really nobody, as far as I know, makes a pair similar to this. Now there might be somebody uh, there might be a maker in Japan that makes something similar like this. I just don't know because I don't have access to some of their sites uh, of what they sell. But if uh, it's kind of neat, thought you might enjoy it. It's kind of a, I, I'll pull a couple more pairs I have. Uh, I don't have a lot. Again, I'm not a collector. Uh, most of the stuff I have, I actually wear. Uh, so that's why I have a lot of LBCs and that sort of thing and the vintage reproduction jeans. But every once in a while when I'm out thrifting or estate sailing, I'll pick up a pair uh, and if I don't sell it, I keep it. So this pair I've kept, uh, I think because they kind of fit me, uh, but they don't really fit me. So I'll probably never wear this pair. Uh, so if you're dying for this pair, let me know. Uh, Cause again, I don't need this pair. I've got, I've got plenty of jeans. I'm good. I only need two pairs of jeans basically for the next five years and I'm great. Uh, but anyway, if you like this sort of content again, please subscribe, uh, comment and like, and all that stuff. I really appreciate uh, all the subscribers I have so far. Uh, I'm almost at 2000, which is really cool. I'm only like 200 away. So that's, I can't believe that when I first started in this whole thing, but anyway, I won't get onto that. Uh, this is the Sears and Roebuck vintage jean. Uh, it's kind of a neat pair of jeans. Uh, the more <laughs> now I pulled it out, I'm like, well, this is really kind of cool. Uh, but that's, isn't that how everything is? Like when you have like a cool thing and you, you loved it at one time and you put it away and then you forget about it and you find it again and there's like all over again. You're like, well, you're enamored with it. But um, anyway, so this is the pair. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next Derek Does.